Hey guys, this is Michael from Tech Weekly, and this is another Tech Weekly special. Today we're going to take a look at the new TouchPal keyboard app for the Android operating system. So let me just unlock my phone for you. Okay, there you go. So as you know, we have the normal Android operating system. Say we go to messaging. Open up a new message, and of course you have your default Android keyboard. Comes here, you have a bunch of little things. But there's a new one now that I saw yesterday I want to show you. It's called Touch Pal. So you basically, you install it. You hold down what you're, um, you hold down down here where you're going to type. One second. You hold it down, and then it should tell you about an input method. Let's see if it'll work up here. Yeah, input method, and then you choose your new touchpad keyboard. If you see that touchpad that you installed, and now it should revert to the touchpad keyboard you see here. It's a little, it takes a little getting used to, considering the fact that, as you can see on the bottom of some of the letter keys, there are punctuation marks, colons, etc. So let's say you're typing out a message. Say hi. What's up? And you want to do um, let's say you want to do a question mark. You see where the G is. There's a question mark. You just drag your finger down on the G, and it appears. Which it's a lot more intuitive than let's say the stock Android, the stock Android keyboard. Uh, moreover, it has different screens. You flick to the left, and you have like the sure type keyboard that you might see on the BlackBerry Pro, etc. You go one more time, and you get the whole little multi-touch. On multi touch on multi tap keyboard. Then you go back and it goes back to the other one. You can also tilt it into landscape mode and it'll convert as well. You'll get the whole QWERTY keyboard and you'll get as well the sure type keyboard. And the only problem that I found with this so far is let's say you're opening it and you want to use the actual keyboard. Well it's kind of a problem because it won't let you it'll take the virtual keyboard of TouchPal and it'll confuse the phone. So let's say you're typing, hey, what's up? And you try to put a question mark, or you try, you try to put an exclamation point, sometimes it won't work. Right now, it seems to be working. But most times, it'll just confuse the phone, and it won't respond at all. Usually, it, work, it works like that if you use it in Chomp SMS. Here, I'm using it in the regular messaging app, so it might not have the same problems. But other than that, it's a pretty good keyboard. Uh, you basically just go on your Android market right here, and then you search. And let's say I already had touch bell here, so you search for touch bell. Um, also, when you install touch bell, on top of um, installing the keyboard, you're going to have to install a language pack so that you can use the phone. Of course, I installed the English language pack, but they have Italian, they have Portuguese. They have German, simple Chinese, etc. So you install both the main keyboard here and your English language pack, whatever language you prefer. And then once that's installed, you go back to your menu. You go to settings. After settings, you go here to the bottom to locale, locale and text, which is right there. Click on that. And then here you see you have your Android keyboard check marks. And then now you have your touchpad keyboard. You check, you check that. And then you can go into the settings if you'd like. And you can decide uh, if you want it to correct mistyping, to predict the next word, and it will sound vibrate, and then you have the screen layout. If you on screen layout, you can choose when it's in portrait mode, if you want to see the full QWERTY, if you want to see the keypad, or the, etc. Um, by the way, the manufacturer of this, the developer for this app is called Kutek. So if you want to look them up. Um, and that's basically it. Of course, it's going to notify you. Um, let's see if I can get it to notify me now. I'm going to contact. I'm going to turn this off. When you turn it on, it should notify you right here that with this input method, uh, the touchpad on your keyboard, it might save. Uh, it might be able to collect any data that you enter using that keyboard, like credit cards or passwords, or any personal data of that matter. If you're a little paranoid, um, you might not want to use this app. But you know, I'm. I probably just use the physical keyboard to enter all that information. So it'll probably be a lot. Um, but that's really it for that keyboard. There are other keyboards like it. Um, there's one I believe called Rewrite that uses a similar uh, gesture system 
like this one does. But the only problem is that it's going to take some getting used to. Um, and of course you can use it in various, this keyboard in various things. You can go to the Google search widget here and it'll have the same keyboard. You can just type it out on that. Uh, but that's basically it for the touchpad keyboard. Again, it's made by Kutek, and you can find it in the Android market. Uh, it's free. You don't have to pay. It used to be, I think, 2 or $3, but they changed the price because, you know, who wants to pay that much for a keyboard? But that's basically uh, it. Let me know what you think about this keyboard. Um, do you like it? Or do you like the Android keyboard better? Let me know in a, in a text comment or in a video reply. That's it for this edition of Tech Weekly Special. So uh, make sure to subscribe and rate. I'll see you next time.